Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and on a Saturday. And the new catalogue has launched. Spring Watch is coming on Monday and there's all sorts going on. But I'm shifting cards in the mail to me from the middle of the month to the beginning of the month. I kind of wanted to, well, it, for it to make sense, but also I had so many amazing gifts and goodies and stuff over Christmas. I wanted to share them with you all. So I'm going to get going reasonably quickly. I've got, they're going to kind of be all over the place. Um, I had a whole bunch of treats for myself, um, Chris and the children. We all had one of these each. This is from Nelly, and she put in her letter to me that as soon as she saw my project, she had to recreate it for me. And so it's my hidden closure box, and there's treats in there. This one is actually Chris's. I might possibly have eaten all of mine. So yummy chocolates in there just gorgeous the children had them full of gummy sweeties and things like that and in a different paper for them just amazing and then also from Nelly and it little, got a little bit squished because it went underneath my Christmas tree and my snug and the cat's got on it um, this was all beautifully ribboned and then there were four parcels in here and they were numbered so and Nelly knows that we don't have Sephora in the UK and she sent me Sephora goodies before and I was just like ah so I've got eye masks, a face mask, foot mask there and then a special chiffon so that I can clean my uh, phone and things like that. That's in there. I love that. It's got a cat in it and high heels. Love. And beautiful eyeshadow palette. Um, for those of you who don't know, I worked as a makeup artist for 10 years. Um, actually, maybe more than 10 years and I'm still a massive makeup junkie now. Um, and she knows that too so this is just gorgeous can't wait to have a play with that and then some Guerlain mascara beautiful and then in here because Nelly is in France French touch and it's a magnet so this is going to go I've got um around my um this part of my office here I've got sloping ceilings and I've got metallic struts and I'm going to see if I can get that to fit on there. And so that was all in this beautiful box full of trees. I was so totally spoiled. So that had gone onto my tree. Also under my tree was this. And Sarah is part of my team. And she had a Yankee candle. Why is this camera not auto-focusing? It's meant to. There it is. She had this Yankee candle personalised for me. And this was my cover photo for a long time. So that's myself and all four of my boys. So that's Jack there, Luke. Jacob and Oliver and she had it personalised and it's in Midsummer Night love the smell just divine so it was a real surprise so Sarah just gives the best gifts ever she gave me last year it was a rainbow it was a great big notebook with uh, lips all over it again she knew that I was a makeup artist but they were rainbow ones fantastic um, I had a, I had six of these come through for myself and my boys from Stella and in here, and I, I hung on to Chris's. I didn't deliberately hang on to Chris's, but there's a chocolate bar. I don't know if you can see it. I want to slide it out. Um, and I think it's wedged itself stuck. But basically, it's a little slider in there. Slides in there, and she's made these snowmen. So there were six of us, six of them for all of us. And like I said, I can't, I can't get that out without potentially ripping it. Um, I think that's my boot. Maybe why I hung on to Chris's. I might hang on to it for me because I can tell that's a galaxy chocolate bar in there. Yum. So those came from her. Who did the card come from? Um, ah, that came from Helsey. So Helsey, in my team, you'll have seen her on YouTube, slim and stylish. She knows I'm a massive Tinkerbell fan. Love Tinkerbell. I have a cushion on. Well, actually, I have two cushions. And this is the same design. So this one, so you can see she's looking off to the one side which she is there. So this is the cushion that sits on my craft chair that I'm sat on at the moment. I love it. Mug and sock set. Love it. Huge. And then this as well. <laughs> we all took a little mini break earlier this year and they introduced me to gin. So I rather like this. It says gin money. And you look incredible, darling. Those are from Halsey. Gorgeous girl. And then this came from Hillary. So, um, my Dutch girls know that I absolutely love stroop waffles, although I believe they're pronounced strope waffles, and I absolutely love them. And what you do with a stroop waffle is you rest it. It's got really hard caramel inside a waffly biscuit, 
and you rest it on top of a cup of coffee. Now I'm just going to pop this to one side for a minute because those biscuits fall inside. Shall I just, shall I just dive in? I'll try not to eat on camera. <laughs> so that potentially could fall in. So this is a warmer you put that over the top of your cup of coffee or your hot drink of choice that sits on top and then the heat well you're keeping your hot drink hot but the heat of it will melt the caramel that's inside the two layers of waffle amazing so i was totally spoiled totally spoiled let me move the biscuit crumbs off a whole load more oh tinkerbell's just landed on the floor okay so i've got just more treats here and these came from like i've knocked this off these came from jenny who sends me stuff quite frequently so that popped on there as well but i managed to catch it and this one was all ribboned up as well there's a child who's just come thundering down the stairs so i hope it doesn't shout beautiful winter wonder candle inside so that was all in there with an s for sam she sends me regularly stuff for myself and all of the children and um, she puts our initials on them which I think is so sweet and then in here it's a molten brown bath uh, bubble bath bauble and if you saw on my Instagram page recently um, my two of my children bought me bubble bath baubles for Christmas in rainbow colours, two of them totally separately, totally different brands and I had them all lined up in a rainbow and I've got this one now which means I can't disturb, I don't have to disturb my rainbow, I can use this one. So are from Jenny and if I out these bits here, oh I don't remember who this one's from but I recognise the paper, that was from last year. What's here? Who did this one come from? Oh, I don't remember. Hand cream, oh that's good, I keep hand cream right on my desk. This was another gift, actually this was from my mum, Fuzzy Duck. Um, so I have hand cream right here, because I generally tend to rub hand cream on my hands right before filming. And I chatter a lot, so bar lip balm, perfect for me. Love that. I want to say that might have been from Stella, but I don't know that it was. Um, oh, a whole big pile of cards here. Beautiful handmade cards at Christmas time. I was really surprised actually to see so many people saying oh, I ran out of time for Christmas cards this year, so I'm making a donation. And I was really shocked to see two TV presenters from a craft channel make that declaration on their Facebook page. I haven't made cards this year, I haven't even bought them. I'm making a donation. I'm like, you work in the craft industry on TV. So, all of these, kudos to everybody who put them out in the post. I did. I got cards out. So these are all gorgeous. I'm going to talk about that one in a second and that one. Just beautiful. So this one is from Louise. Now this was, uh, this Louise was cashing in vouchers. So um, as many of you know, I do reward my team very heavily. I love on my team as much as I possibly can and I dish out vouchers like they're going out of fashion. Um, and actually where I'm filming this, I'm filming this on Thursday. No, Wednesday the 1st, oh yeah, I'm, it is on the 1st that I'm filming this. You're seeing it on Saturday and I have just run the reports on my team and there's literally 150 vouchers going out to my team this month. So they, what they do is they then cash them in. So in Louise's case, she wanted to cash in £30 worth of vouchers for blends. She got a whole load of blends and storage as well. And then this one is from the regional sales director for um, our part of the world. So we don't have a country manager in the UK at the moment, but we do have a regional country manager. And actually all of the country managers all over the world are happily stepping in. So they'll answer questions if I've got, but we do have a regional sales director, Corrie Hancock, who popped this in the post and this was to congratulate me on number one in sales, number one in recruiting, number one in leadership, number one overall in the UK and number 11 globally. One of the children's just turned on some really loud music. Yeah, I think he's turning it down. But actually her card totally inspired me. This is a stamp set called Morning Star, which is really, really beautiful. Let me grab it um, because I hadn't noticed it. And I thought, what a really lovely stamp set. Where's that from? It's this one. Um, absolutely gorgeous and i have made a couple of cards with it and actually no it's a 3d project but so beautiful so i wanted to mention that and like i say to thank say thank you to corrie because it came all the way from the state right another pile of cards here 
loads of cards. So these are, yeah, these are a mixture of thank you cards and Christmas cards and they're just so beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? All those cards, I love that dog. We don't have that dog, but I love the dog. And look at this. This is using the A Little Lace stamp set, but it's made Christmassy. Clever Wendy. There's a pile there. Let me bring some more. And I'm just going to scooch those off to one side. I really hope this film's okay. I'm using a new camera. And I just put on the floor. And I thought I'd test run it with you guys. So I hope it feels okay. Okay, more Christmas cards. Look at that. That is the same stamp set as this one. Totally different look. This has been, oh, that's been die cut. That one. Everybody loved the plaid, didn't they? I think we'll just call it tartan, shall we? So that one is a thank you card. Ah, oh, that's, so this is Nelly who sent me all of the beautiful Sephora stuff and the treats for the children. And then we've got Christmas cards here. How gorgeous are they all? I love this. Love a shaker card, but I love all of the blade, plaid, tartan. That's really clever. Oh, that's Laurie. Okay. So Laurie has done that. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's where it's all been suspended. I don't know what the, the technique is called. Right, let me move those over. I've got another bunch. Um, the postman was coming very frequently to my door. Um, so the last time I put out one of these videos was two weeks ago and a load more cards came. Aren't they just incredible? Just divine. So, so beautiful. They really are. Um, gorgeous cards that's a thank you card in there so you can tell obviously you can tell that the, which ones are christmas cards and then this one i think is a voucher ah oh, so this is jenny so <laughs> here's the funny thing so jenny who sent me the, the bauble that was in this box she'd sent me some stuff for, for myself that went in a video and literally as the doorbell as i finished filming and the video was uploading a few minutes later the doorbell rang and it was a little parcel from Jenny to me and the children. So this is what I was saying before about her putting the initials and everything. So I'd literally finished filming it. And then about a week later, another parcel came with, with treats for us. So inside here were chocolates. So there's Alpha Luke. That's Jack's. I think those are the only ones I hung on to. Jacob and Oliver are a bit, they're a bit rippy. They like to rip. But what I love is that Jenny puts... She matches things. Obviously, as you can see, that matches completely. And in here, four gorgeous tea lights. I can get, oh, oh, blimey, that, those are very Christmassy. I'm gonna say that sort of holly berry and cinnamon. Oh, it might be the 1st of December. No, 1st of January. I'm gonna go and burn them now. And then this one i'm pretty sure this one was jenny as well and this had chocolate in but that you know, possibly got eaten straight away that had a chocolate bar in but just gorgeous so that fitted whoopsie fitted on there what's really nice for me is um lots of the, the ladies who pop stuff in the post to me put them in my designs and say thank you for your project it was a brilliant one it's nice to see the designs i made turned into creations that you guys use and then send out so obviously this is my tea light one um and it's actually nice to see somebody else's interpretation of it just brilliant who sent me the rainbow memo notes oh i can't remember seriously two weeks in christmas and your head goes to mush really does and then in here i have chocolates yummy scrubbing chocolates in there and that is a really cool box i like that i might have to go and make that i don't know who made it it looks like a sam clayton kind of project or maybe a um an intertwined design project i'll go and have a look that's very cool i might remake that but yeah and i think that's it look at my desk i'd zoom out if i could oh <laughs> there's a big pile there and a big pile there. Let me zoom back in again. Oh, I'm liking this camera. 
for those curious, it's a Canon EOS M50. <laughs> I like it. What I wanted was decent lighting. Haven't fitted the ring light up. My husband bought me one of those for Christmas. It's enormous. As in so enormous. I don't know if I can get this on camera. Every chance. It's, it comes in, a, in a, a, the biggest bag in the world. It's enormous. It's huge. So I haven't got that fitted up yet. Um, so yeah, yeah, really happy with the with the camera. What I wanted was this sort of in and out insta zoom thing and that would autofocus. So anyway, on that note, I've got to try and work out how to turn the record off. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.